Hi, Romina. Hi, good evening, Mom. Yeah. Hello. So you're one of the candidates for this year's Miss International Queen Philippines Calabarzon. So you may please introduce yourself to our viewers. So hello, everyone, to the students of Miss Jal Lopez and her dog. I am Romina Leva, an official candidate for Miss International Queen Philippines Calabarzon, and I represent Antipolo Rizal. Wow, you're from Antipolo. Taga Antipolo rin po ako. Sa barangay po kayo. Um, I'm from Barangay San Isidro. Yes, ako taga San Roque lang ako. Kapit bahay lang. So, why did you join Miss International Queen Philippines Calabarzon? So, the main reason why I joined Miss International Queen Calabarzon is because I wanted to utilize the platform to promote my advocacy, which is on safe transitioning. For those who don't know, I am a medical laboratory science, mm -hmm. uh, science student and I'm in my fourth year level. I study at Our Lady of Fatima University. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I wanted to um, promote this one, the safe transition, is because it is timely and relevant that people under my sector, my transistors, are self-medicating and having unsafe practices in their transitioning. That's why I wanted to address this to give information that there are medical professionals that we can ask for help or ask for advice in safe transitioning. All right, thank you. Honestly, I'm also transitioning myself for five years. And thanks to Love Yourself, it's an NGO. Yeah, it's an institution yeah. that are giving free services yeah. on um, people who are in need for it. Yes, thanks to Love Yourself, I transitioned successfully after five years. Up until now, siguro. And yes, self-medication. So, why did you advocate for such cause? Uh, we all know that for a fact that there are only few people who are advocating for this stuff. And I think it is the right time to step up and someone to amplify for this issue so that we can address the, the skyrocketing cases that are linked to unsafe practices of surgery. Alright, so is this your first time to join the pageant? Actually, this is my fourth time joining a pageant. My first pageant was a local barangay pageant. And the second one is the Queen of Antipolo, which was I was the first runner-up. But um, then I was recrowned as the the new Queen of Antipolo because of some so certain co certain um, issues that we that we encountered, so I was recrowned, and then I was the first runner-up in Queen of Nikki's, and also a top 10 finalist for Queen of St. Wow! So, as someone who is from our community, the transgender community, what, how will you encourage someone who is struggling to transition uh, we all know for a fact that we are abiding to societal standards and cultures and traditions so that many of us are having a hard time transitioning because they believe that um, if you are transitioning a long hair or a trans woman, you are a, seen, a sinner or someone that is not fit to the society. My message to them is that no matter how we face extreme derogatory circumstances, we must rise up to it and as long as we keep up and do do not harm anyone and we stick on our values, I think we should continue on expressing ourselves to whatever we are comfortable with. Alright. And I know that you're a Gen Z, right? Yes. And social media is, has been a tool that we use to spread information. So how will you use social media to promote your advocacy? Actually, social media is a uh, as a very useful thing and as science continuous, continuously innovate, innovating, we must embrace the changes and the gift of science and we can utilize it, I myself can just utilize it in promoting my advocacy by sharing information, legit information and factual information that are database so that people who are not knowledgeable enough can absorb the knowledge that we are going to share in the platform. And of course, with the supervision of medical professionals, my advocacy will be anchored there. Alright, and right now we do have a lot of geopolitical issues, especially here in our country with our neighboring um, states. So, 
there is actually a uh, there are actually talks of banning some social media platforms. So, what's your comment on that? Um, I think if there are some social political issues like that, and um, bannings of social media as any of those certain countries, I think we have nothing against it if it's their protocol, if they follow some certain protocol. But if we keep on abiding to those um, laws that are really standards, then I guess we, have, we should not do against the banning of social media because after all, all places have their own rules and regulations. Yes, and I do think that social media nowadays is not just about uh, promoting a brand but also helps people's livelihood, right? Yes. So, as someone who... So, so, as someone who's part of the transgender community, when did you start transitioning? I you know? actually started transitioning last two years ago, before the pandemic, uh, and, the, and the actual pandemic stage, because it was a time that I was able to grow my hair long, and when I felt that my hair suits me, I felt that it's, it is the right gender identity that I can express myself. All right. So right now, today is your first day, sa Miss International Queen Philippines Calabar. So actually, for Miss International Queen, if ever you win. So how does it feel that you are here and representing Antipolo City Rizal? I'm very feeling ecstatic right now, and um, it is just a dream for me because I was very scared of stepping up on national or regional pageants because we all know that. Some of them are already have their cosmetic surgeries and for me it's my insecurity because some of my features are not still feminine enough and I felt that it is a hindrance for me in joining pageantry but now I stood up here to present myself not only just a shallow body but the personality that I have and also my advocacy. Pero just ko, ang ganda mo na ngayon, wala pang surgery yan ha? In two Thank years so of transitioning. Much, Ayun, and... Right. Well, last question. What is your message to all your supporters, especially us from Antipolo who are rooting for you? Um, for my supporters, thank you so much for um, your endless and your support for me throughout my journey in pageantry. I know that I am just a newbie and a rookie in the pageantry, but I promise that I will offer something on the table. All right. Thank you so much. Our Miss International Queen, Philippines Calabarzon, Antipolo City Result 2023. And good luck on your MIQPH journey.